Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a giant paper dahlia ball. Please like this video below and subscribe to my channel. I'll be linking all the materials you need along with the template below the video and you could either use this template for the Cricut, Silhouette, or other cutting machines. And for those that don't have a cutting machine, there will be a print file that you could print and hand cut. You'll need a total of 54 sheets of paper per giant dahlia. First, I take four sheets of letter size paper and cut two fringes on each paper through the cutting machine. And then I take the leftover fringe piece from the leftover and cut off the sides so that I could use these as well. You should have eight cuts from the machine and another eight from the off side. If you are hand cutting these, you can try to evenly cut out 16 of this fringe shape. I have cut these by hand before, so it is possible to cut by hand, but typically I do prefer the machine to cut this for me since it is a lot of cutting. Next, take one of each of the fringes and glue on top and crisscross the fringes so they go in between and roll that up gluing in the beginning and at the end. Then get the coupler ready that fits your PVC pipe size for your flower stem. Then glue this inside the coupler. Keep pairing up the fringes and glue that now on top of the coupler and the center fringes. You should have a total of eight pairs. Finish these up. I also have another giant dahlia version that is more pointy while this one will look more like a dahlia ball. You could also change up the colors to give a variety of looks. If you already have the other Giant Dahlia template, you could also just use that template and either trim off the top to make it less narrow and pointy shape. Next, we have the smallest size and for the giant flower petals, I like to hand cut them because we need so many sheets of paper. You could still do this on the machine or hand cut them. You could also just have one cut from the machine and use that as a template. I printed the hand cut version and I work in increments of five. So I take a stack of five with the print. The first two smallest sizes could fit both on one letter size paper. The smallest one goes first and we'll need two stacks of five sheets of paper, making a total of 10 petals. But keep these in groups of five. Then the second size should be another two stacks of five sheets, making a total of 10 petals. The third size and fourth size will fit by itself on a letter size paper. The third size you'll need three sets of five sheets of paper, making a total of 15 petals. The fourth size you'll need five sets of five sheets, making a total of 25 sheets. Once you have all of them cut, make sure to keep them in their stack of five in order from smallest to biggest. Then starting from the smallest with the stack of five, I took a PVC pipe and use it to help curl my petals like a cylinder. Then take one at a time and roll it up like the cylinder, then crease only the bottom half of the petal. Then glue the center towards the bottom and make the sides attach to the petal and do this to the first five petals. Next, glue the bottom of the petal and attach and meet where the fringes are and glue the rest of the petals around the circle. All five of the petals should fit around the circle evenly. Then go to the next stack of five and shape like a cylinder and crease the bottom half and glue. Then attach that in between the first layer of petals. You should see the tips of each petal. Continue to do this for the rest of the petals in order from smallest to biggest in sets of five. And continue to go and crisscross each layer so all the points of the petals can be shown. You will also gradually start going down the coupler.
Next, you could also distance your petals so that it could get bigger and check as you go and see if you feel like it is big enough or full enough. And you could finish up where you like it or use up all the petals that we did cut. Then cut out five long leaves with green paper. These have the pointy tip on the top and the bottom and this will help cover up any messiness on the bottom and your white coupler. Next, I'll be showing you the giant flower stand and stem kit for the base. You can find them linked below the video and comes with this metal base that is nice because it is flat to the crown and collapsible. Comes with the screw so you can screw the rod and I also provide this green paper to cover the metal. I tried painting it before but it just chips off the metal so this paper works fine. And you could add the grass bundle if you want and add your pipe. The pipe that I provide will be flexible and it's flexible but it also holds the shape once you shape it. But I will also show you how to DIY this. This part will be for the base of the giant paper flower so it could stand on its own and the stem. I like to use the Rapid Set Cement Awl and I haven't really experimented with other types of concrete. This one has a light gray finish and smooths on its own. Comes in a smaller box if you want to only make a couple or a bigger bag if you want to make a lot of stands. I'll be using plastic plant saucers that you can find in the plant section as our mold and I'm using an 8 inch size but there are bigger sizes if you want to add multiple flowers in one base. I use duct tape to guide my 3 4 coupler of my 3 4 inch PVC pipe. That will be my stem so that it will come apart to transport in a car. If you are using a different size PVC pipe, get the matching coupler. Add duct tape on only one end of the coupler. These will be found at Home Depot, Lowe's, or on Amazon and I'll try my best to link all of this below the video. Make sure you are being safe and wear gloves and a mask so you don't breathe in the fine dust and safety goggles when working with this. I used about six scoops of these disposable plastic cups but I like to work in small increments. If you do a lot at a time it is harder to mix. You will also have to be quick so it doesn't set while you mix. Then add a little bit of water as you go and mix until you get a pancake consistency. Add more concrete if you need to thicken it. Fill up until you cover just the bottom and add your coupler. I have my coupler connected with a small PVC pipe just so I could hold it on the top. Then fill up a little more until right below the coupler ends. It should take a couple hours to fully set so while we wait for that we will now get the stems ready with PVC pipe. I got a pan, ladle, and funnel from a thrift store that I designated for this and not use for cooking. Then you can find playground sand outside or actually buy a bag of sand. I like to have enough to fill up the pan so I could work on multiple at a time but if you are only making one you could just use a little more than your PVC pipe could hold. Heat it up until you feel the sand is too hot to touch. Then tape one end of the PVC pipe with duct tape and the other side use a funnel and ladle to scoop your sand into the pipe. Then fill to the top and close it up with duct tape. And on the ground you could shape your desired shape. This will look a little different from each flower so shape accordingly. You could use heat gun or even a blow dryer but I felt the heated sand gave me the most even heat without kinking the pipe. Then take the sand back out. Then I cut four of these big side leaves that fit a whole 12 by 12 cardstock paper and they need to be paired up. Then add glue around the rim of the leaf with this white glue and I'll be linking that below the video. Make sure to leave an opening on the bottom of the leaves, then sandwich the pair on top and match up the edges. Then fold down the middle and it's okay if it doesn't perfectly meet down the middle and shape the pointy tips by curling it out and just adding some shape to these leaves. Next, cut a strip of green crepe paper and glue and wrap your PVC pipe that will be your stem for the flower. You'll be stretching the crepe paper and gluing every so often so it doesn't unravel. And if you want to attach leaves in the middle of the stem, you could add floral wire with masking tape on the middle of the pipe and cover up with the crepe paper. Next, you could add your leaves on the floral wire and add your finished flower on top. Make sure to check out my other giant paper flower tutorials. Please like this video below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.